everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to teach you guys how to save money at Hobby Lobby. Um, springtime is coming up and you know we have all these things like school projects and weddings and showers and a lot of people go to Hobby Lobby for this kind of stuff and there is a a lot of money to be saved there. They have a lot of great things and you really need to know how to shop there to be able to save money there. So I'm gonna give you some tips that I have that will help you save money at Hobby Lobby. So first off, you need to look at your sales ad. This is an ad I printed off their website. They also have them in the store. Their ad runs from Monday through Saturday and then they are closed on Sundays. But on Sundays, they upload the new ad for the next week upcoming. So you can go online on Sundays and kind of plan, you know, what, if, what you need to buy is going to be on sale. So once you have your ad, you need to know how to read your ad. So if you pay attention to the categories, like you'll see here, it says home decor, 50% off categories listed. So not all the home decor is gonna be 50% off. You have to look at the categories that are listed under the home decor. Like ceramics are on sale, clocks, lamps, pillows, etc. So you have to go through with every single category and just kind of read what's on sale. So once you have in mind like what you're gonna buy and you go through your ad, you can kind of plan, you know, if it's on sale this week, if you need to buy it this week, or if you need to wait. Uh, a lot of things alternate sales. Um, like if it's not on sale one week, it'll be on sale the next week if you pay attention to the sales. Um, but if you need something and it's not on sale that week, then that is when this little guy, if I can get it right, down here comes into play. Right here. This is your 40% off coupon. So this is a 40% off coupon, good for one item. Um, there are exclusions on it. Like it excludes the Cricut and the Silhouette machines, um, the classes, gift cards, and candy. So um, as long as you're not buying any of that, you can use this 40% off coupon on one item. You can also get this like on your phone if you go... Um, like on the website from your phone, or they have an app that will have the Hobby Lobby coupon on it. Um, if you get the app on your phone, that will also have the weekly ad on it. So once you have your ad and your coupon, you can go and you can go to the store and just make sure you're paying attention to what's on sale that week. And then you can also kind of like sometimes they will have clearance items. Um, like usually they're in the back of the store or they'll like mark them down and just kind of leave them in the section. But a lot of times they'll do like 75% off home accents and they'll have like a whole um, section of like furniture and wall decor that's kind of off to itself um, and they'll have clearance price. You can't use the coupon on the clearance items, but normally they're like 75 to 80% off. So you really want to pay attention to the types of things at Hobby Lobby that goes on sale. Like if you start paying attention to the sale ads, you'll kind of learn like what's on sale one week and then you'll learn what's probably going to be on sale the next week. So like the floral stuff, like it has like the floral stems are on sale. Um, that's like the single flowers. Um... So then that means next week, like the bundles of flowers and the wedding stuff will probably be on sale. And that is a huge tip. If you are planning a wedding and you need stuff from Hobby Lobby, uh, the wedding stuff will go 50% off if you pay attention to the ad. So that way you can go and get whatever you need while it's 50% off. That will literally cut your bill in half in terms of your wedding budget. So you can definitely, definitely get your wedding stuff 50% off. They also have a lot of things that you can rent for your wedding, um, like arches and all kinds of stuff like that, like candelabras and, you know, things that you don't necessarily want to buy. You can rent them from the store for the day and then take them back. Um, 
also if something is on sale this is um this is something to keep in mind huge ship if something is on sale and you go to the store to buy it and they do not have it in stock you can go find someone who works there and ask them for a rain check on the item and they can give you a rain check and if you get that rain check it will give you the sale price so you know if they get it back in stock next week then they will give you the sale price on the item if you have your rain check and they can also order things for you if you need like a lot of items like if you or like if you need stuff for your wedding and they don't have enough of it in the store you can ask them and they will order things for you and then with your rain check you'll get them at the sale price so keep that in mind if you're planning like an event or if they don't have something that you need you can definitely do a rain check on it so you can get it at the sale price um let's see The fabric that they carry is always, here's a tip if you need fabric. So the fabric that they carry is always 30% off. Um, but if you go and have fabric cut, then if you get them to put it at the regular price, you can use your coupon on one cut of fabric. So, you know, that would give you 40% off instead of 30% off if that's the most expensive thing that you're buying and that could... You know, potentially save you a lot of money if you use your coupon on your fabric. You also want to pay attention when they're doing like these blowout sales right here, the paper crafts blowout sale. Um, you really need to read the little disclaimer at the top. It says Paper Studio and Stamp Abilities. So that means it has to be those brands that are on sale that are going to be half off. Um, also, with what I was saying about the fabric, that goes for like any item. Like if something is 30% off and you have your coupon, you can use it on the one item to give you 40% off instead of the 30% off. Um, the only thing that you really can't do, like don't be the person standing at the front in the checkout line, like arguing with the cashier, wanting to use your coupon more than once because you're allowed to use it once per day per person. So, like, don't hold up the line, like, arguing with the cashier, trying to get her to let you use your coupon, like, more than one time. I cannot tell you how many times I've seen people doing that. And, you know, like, you're not, like, helping matters if you're yelling at your cashier when she's not allowed to let you do something. No matter how much you yell at that the cashier, they're not allowed to let you do it. So, like, I've worked in retail so long, like... Yelling at the cashier is not going to change the store policy. So just, just don't be that person. You just do not want to be that person. But this coupon is super helpful. Um, you know, you can use it once per day. So if you need something else, you can go back the next day and use it again. Um, trying to think. But yeah, most of shopping at Hobby Lobby, like, the key is to pay attention to your ad and to take a coupon with you every single time that you go. You can also, like I said, get the coupon on your phone so you don't have to have this. Um, the coupon is not on the ads that they have in the store, just FYI. So, like, if you don't have a smartphone or, like, you know, you don't have your phone that day. They don't have coupons in the store for you. You have to, um, like, print it off and bring it with you. Or here, like, they'll put the coupons in the newspaper. So you can also use that one as well. But, yeah, it comes down to paying attention to your ad when things are on sale and using your coupon. So just make sure you have a coupon with you every single time you go. Really read the ad and you'll start to like notice like when one thing's on sale, another thing's not on sale. Um, like half of the home decor stuff is on sale right now and then the other half will be on sale next week. Um, also their clearance stuff is amazing. If you go like right after the holiday when they put the clearance stuff on sale, you can get some really great deals if you're okay with like storing that until the next year especially at Christmas time if they have a lot of stuff left over um, like you can get trees you can get ornaments and then like you'll be all set for next year um, 
There are some things in Hobby Lobby that I've noticed are always on sale. Like their little picture frames are usually on sale. Um, and the furniture is always 30% off. But you can also use your coupon, remember, instead of the sale price. So anything that's really 30% off, unless it's excluded, you can use your coupon on it and get it 40% off. Um, yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to say. Like, but if you are planning like an event or a wedding, like make sure that you pay attention to the ad when the stuff you need for that is on sale. One thing that I don't believe ever goes on sale are like the party supplies. Um, so, you know, those are always regular price. I've never seen those go on sale. Um, but yeah, definitely pay attention to your sales ad, take your coupon, and that will save you a ton of money at Hobby Lobby. And if you guys have any shopping tips or anything like that, leave them down below for me in the, the, bleh, in the comment section. Um, they'll help me, they'll help other people, so everybody wins. If you guys have any, like, questions for me, please leave them down in the comment section. Um, I love answering them. I love getting to talk to you guys. I love meeting you guys. You guys always have, like, great comments, and I love reading them. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, these little shopping tip videos, give it a thumbs up. That'll let me know that you want to see more of it. And make sure you subscribe if you're new and turn on the little bell. And that way you'll never miss a video whenever I post it. It'll send you a notification. Thanks so much for watching today, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!